Hi, welcome back. This video is Camera LiDAR Sensor Fusion Vlog 2. In the past few weeks, I did some progress in 2D image detection and 3D point cloud processing. Okay, first, let's have a look at our model here. The transfer frame for LiDAR and camera may be changed because in the last video, I put the Valida 16 laser beam on my vehicle, but the result is not perfect. So I replace with the Auster 64 laser beam LiDAR to detect more higher resolution. So first step is calibration LiDAR and camera. I made a calibration board with two holes, one is circle and one is rectangle. Then I work around with the calibration board and record the back fail for calibration. So for the calibration, you first you can set a roughly TF tree and then based on the back fail, you can adjust in the TF tree. This video is after I adjust in my TF tree and you can tell the calibration part is good or not based on the 2D and 3D overlap. Now you can see, after I calibrate, I back to my vehicle. Okay, now let's play some back file I recorded from my company to my school. This is a raw point data from the Auster LiDAR. So you can see I'm using Auster 64 laser beam LiDAR. The result is pretty good. From the raw data, you can see the point cloud is not only provide the XYZ value for space point, but also can tell the difference based on reflection by different material like lane lines and traffic sign. <clears throat> this part is point cloud processing. First step is to set a region of interesting. So we set XYZ value to cut uh, the point cloud we want to use. I'm now adjusting the X for the point cloud. So I only focus on the point cloud on the highway. So I set the minimum X and the maximum X. Because now my system is not smart enough, it cannot detect the highway. So I have to manually set. Maybe in the future, I'll make my uh, system smarter than this. Maybe it can automatically detect where is the highway. So you see now, uh, I'm in the right side of the highway. So I set my left side a longer, a larger uh, distance detection and the right side, I set a smaller distance detection. So by this part, I can filter some noisy point cloud, such like from the tree or from the grass on the ground. This part, I delete all the point cloud on the ground, so you can see only point cloud is above the ground, which means only the surrounding vehicle or some traffic sign. After we delete point cloud on the ground, then we can clustering the point cloud above the ground using KD tree algorithm. After clustering every group of point cloud data, then we are using a data type called bounding box to present the obstacle's position and the size. From the video, you can see there are lots of bounding box detected. There are smaller one or bigger one but they are too noisy. Then we can select the minimum number and maximum number for each group of point cloud data. Then we can filter the noisy data. So for example, the original setting of one bounding box, the minimum point cloud data is 10. That's a very small number, which means if a group of point cloud is bigger than 10, so we are using a bounding box to present that. But 
that number is too small. So I increase this number to 50 or 40. Then we can cut some very small noisy bonding box. Then I set the maximum point cloud data number to 2000. Because we are using a high resolution LiDAR, if a vehicle is very close to us, it may generate more than 2000 point cloud data. Here I'm showing the region of interest for the point cloud data and also with the bounding box. The bonding box is uh, keep changing its size. Maybe that means my uh, classroom algorithm is not very good, so I have to make improvement of that. Let's change back to the raw data with the bonding box. After I filter out the smaller bounding box and the larger bounding box, now it only shows some vehicles and the traffic sign. Let's run the 2D image detection and classification node, the ULU convolutional neural network. This is the idea of a LiDAR and camera sensor fusion. So we combine different information together. Camera we can use in convolutional neural network to classify and detect 2D image. And the LiDAR can provide decent information from the vehicle to object. If we combine these two information together, we can get an object where it is and what is this object. Currently, I analyze 2D information and 3D information separately. So the next step is integration 2D bounding box with the 3D bounding box, and then do some uh, fusion analysis. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and then subscribe to me. Thanks again.